I always had a question about how involved your interpretation of Andy Bernard was in the creation of the character and the writing of the material. My very first meeting with Greg Daniels and Paul Lieberstein, they said we had this idea for this character uh, who might be sort of a yacht club kid or like, you know, and he's kind of obnoxious. Uh, um, do you have any thoughts? And I was like, well, I don't know. But yeah, like he's a, this or that and threw some things out and it was very nebulous. And I didn't know even after that meeting that if it would ever come to be. Sometime later, I got the call to start the character, to do this eight episode arc. And what I learned very quickly and I was very excited about is that the writing staff is paying very close attention to everything that's going on and anything that you improvise or endow your character with, be it a speech pattern or a little nugget of personal history or physicality, the writers are picking up on that and either amplifying it or kind of using more of it in some way. And it became this really cool symbiotic feedback loop of character development. And I felt very much a part of it, even though I wasn't in the room being like, hey, what if Andy, you know? Right. I did feel a part of it, because I felt listened to. I felt like my contributions were, uh, were being kind of taken in and considered. Was there any calculating of, I can turn this into a larger arc than eight episodes? Zero. Zero? Yeah. I. Uh, around five, six episodes in, the, the conversation started. Maybe there's a place for Andy at, and Scranton, but um, I really wasn't a part of it. And I, uh, I mean, the, the only part of it was, would you do it if we offered it? And I was like, yeah, I would do that.